So let's get kneading the flour for that bread dough. My loaves, my bread loaves. Here in this bowl I have flour, I have salt, I have brown sugar, I have yeast, and I have coconut milk powder or you can use regular milk powder. I just like it with the flavor from that coconut milk powder. Mix everything together. And it's so simple, you do not have to bloom that yeast. And now we will just get this mixing with the water. Regular tap water or you can use warm water. I don't use milk to knead it with because there is the milk powder in here. So let me get this kneading up and I'll show you what it would look like when it's finished. Now that the dough has come together, I will add a little bit of oil to the bottom of the bowl. Just give it a little knead again with that oil. As I said, you can always do this in your stand mixer with your dough hooks to knead or to mix that dough. I'm just accustomed doing it with my hands. And that's it. We're going to turn it around. And just drizzle some oil over the dough. And we're going to cover it with our plastic wrap or clean wrap and a heavy kitchen towel and leave it to double in size for half of an hour to an hour it will double and then i'll show you the next step i have my buttered loaf pans so let's go checking on that bread to see if the dough is double in size. Going in to check the dough now to see if it has doubled and it did. This is after one hour so let me show you the next step. So you're going to have an extra bowl with some flour, dip the back of your knuckles to punch down that dough. We're going to turn this dough over to a flowered surface.
just give it that knead back form it into one big ball or dough we're going to take our dough divider divide it into four pieces This is going to be, each one is going to be one loaf. So it all depends on your size of your pan. That's what you're going to do. So we're going to form them into one dough ball. And then I'll show you. What we're going to do, let me move, move these out from here because I want to keep the room over here to work with. We're going to flour our rolling pin and we're going to roll them out. Roll them out to the size of your pan. length of your pan turn them over and this is what you're going to do roll them let it form that loaf shape and in goes see it's the same size of the pan in goes our loaf into the pan now if you want you can take butter and melted butter and put it on top soften butter and just tap it like that and cover it and let it rise back I'm going to do the rest so my loaves is fixed and put in the, pan, the loaf pan so as I said, all you need to do is either take some oil or some butter, soften butter, and just tap it to the top when you finish placing the loaves, the rolled loaves into your dish or loaf pan. And then you're going to cover it with that same plastic wrap and that kitchen towel and leave it to double up again and put it into the oven to bake at 350 until it's golden brown or to whatever color you like to the top. And these are the risen bread loaves in the bread pan loaf span so I'm going to put them into the oven now and it's into the oven and it's going to be baked until it's golden brown for at least less than an hour or between 30 35 40 45 minutes depending on your heat so when your bread is almost finished from the um, oven just brush it with uh, some butter on top the butter is optional, but if you want the top to be on um, a soft top, give it that brush with some melted butter. It is optional. If you want a crusty crust, don't butter it. It's all up to you how you prefer it. And place it back into the oven and let it continue to bake to get a nice golden brown top I will also show you guys the, the whole wheat one so I will just change one of them
this is what your whole wheat one would look like so give it that brush with that butter the melted butter I will give you guys a closer look to it 